Well, I've not made a video for quite some time now, um, but I thought I would uh, just update everyone on the modifications and changes I've made to the uh, interceptor. So, going back to last June, my wife kindly bought me for my birthday this matching uh, screen uh, from Pyramid Plastics. So I saw one in Ravaging Red and they didn't have one in the Orange Crush so I emailed them and asked were they thinking about doing it um, because I said that the orange was probably the most popular colour at the time. Um, I didn't get a reply but um, a few weeks later lo and behold um, there was uh, an orange matching one on their website. So uh, so my wife bought that for me for my birthday last June. So that's now fitted on there, very, very simple to fit on. Um, it just uh, slots in on either side there. And uh, I think it looks really nice. So that got me thinking. Um, it'd be nice if we could do a bit more color matching with the, uh, with the orange. And uh, I also saw some photos of why people had done the side panels. So what I decided to do is get in touch with Pyramid Plastics and ask them um, what the colour code was or uh, whether they did, you know, um, any spraying or anything. Well, what they told me was that they actually send their screens to um, Dream Machine, who colour matched it for them. So, got in touch with Dream Machine. I bought a couple of uh, side panels from uh, from India and then sent them over to Dream Machine and they colour matched them beautifully. Really, really, really pleased with that. And uh, and also they made up the interceptor uh, stickers there. Uh, I did send a couple that I'd bought off eBay but they weren't very good and they didn't like them. And so uh, they actually made up a pattern themselves. So they've now got a template for uh, for the interceptor sticker on the side there. Um, and Christmas rolls along and uh, I had tried, well last May I did a, a long road ride down to Cornwall on the standard seat and my goodness um, it was so uncomfortable it was almost unbearable. So I, I did get something from India that I wasn't really happy with but then I noticed uh, an advert from uh, Nostalgia Up Holstery, which is in Peterborough, and I actually drive past Peterborough twice a week. So uh, got in touch with Chris Bug there, and what what he does is he actually takes the original seat and then reupholsters it, inserting uh, gel inserts in the, uh, the the rider's position and then also the pillion, and then he did the the piping in in orange because I mentioned that it's going to go on an orange crush bike and also all the um, stitching there is, is done in orange as well and it is absolutely beautiful. Now I have been for a sort of half an hour ride so it's very difficult to know exactly but there was a definite improvement, a um, lot, more, lot more comfortable and I think it looks absolutely brilliant. Now the next thing of course is luggage and um, because of the op sweat exhausts of the interceptor we're very limited about how big side panel side panniers you want to put on um, I had a, a, a sort of a, an old top box on there with a with a black rack which was bought cheaply from India um, it was really starting to look really tatty after about three years so um, anyway started investigating and came across equipment and luggage done by um, Hepco and Becker in Germany and uh, my goodness me the quality of this stuff is, is, is absolutely fantastic so uh, I've ordered a, a chrome rack as you can see there and then also their SIBO luggage system which is specifically designed for the interceptor so if we just take a close look up in here what it does it locks in place so what you simply do is you just turn that like that and then put it off and there you go so that's the SIBO system and they do one specifically for each bike so not just interceptors of course all sorts of different bikes but you have to get the one which is specific for the interceptor easy very easy to fit 
it fits where the the grab with the two bolts that hold the grab rail on um, that's where they, that's where that sits and then also what I did was if you can see here this is where the pillion footrests would have um, would have been but they if you did did do that if you left them there then you probably wouldn't be able to get a pillion on there with the luggage so what they do is they provide a kit that moves the pillion footrest just about 10 centimeters forward and this is a really neat neat piece of kit as well it fits beautifully and and looks just just the, the thing so that's good so putting the bag back so we'll do it one-handed just swap over so yeah so there we go and then you just turn that and there it is locked in place so each uh, each pannier is 22 litres which is not a bad size and as you can see um, they clear they clear the exhaust quite quite well um, it's a great system so easy to take on and off and it's lockable as well um, you've got these waterproof zips that go around there and you can also see how you can actually put uh, a little padlock in there so that uh, it gives a little bit of security so inside okay you've got a bag inside that's velcroed to the side here and at the back um, and then unclips there so you can take this bag out and basically you can put all your stuff inside there and then wrap it round clip it together I'm not going to try and do this one handed <laughs> um, and that means you can keep your stuff in there then just obviously just lift that out when you get to your destination and also it will help to keep it waterproof as well so I think a fantastic system you've got a couple of carrier uh, straps on the top there also you can have put shoulder straps and it comes with a, a shoulder strap so you can click those on stick it on the shoulder so um, that's it uh, the, the quality of the workmanship is really first class and I think it looks really smart on the interceptor so there we are so I hope you uh, hope you like what I've done uh, any comments please feel free to make them and uh, I'll get back to you if I if I can and uh, anyway once I do a good decent run uh, perhaps a day out when the weather improves here in the UK uh, I'll let people know about the um, about the uh, saddle so thanks very much for watching and uh, see you again soon.